we brought uh, Christian Farman, the patient, who in Sweden was the first person to do uh, self-care or empowered dialysis, and in the nurse, the head nurse, Britt Marie, to Waco, Texas, who was right, uh, right after the uh, annual meeting in uh, IHI in Orlando. And so they stayed with us for a week. And the first thing they said was, not walking, just standing at the door, looking into the unit, would you be willing to turn the machines to face the patient and allow them to touch the machine? And of course, those were radical, big changes. And so I had to go back and thankfully the staff all said, sure, we'll try it in one unit as an experiment. It kind of exploded after that. Everything just was a thousand times better. It's been hunker down for 40 years uh, that I've been doing it. It was come in, sit down, be quiet, don't touch anything. So you can imagine, basically they're helpless, they're uh, learning how to be more helpless, they're bored, they're depressed, and we kind of missed that whole point and thought that was a good way to do it. Until we saw empowered or self-care dialysis, we call it empowered because that's what happens is that you say to the patient, you can do the hunker down or you can do empowered, which is control, freedom, independence. That's what you get. And with that, you get the benefit of optimism, joy, and hope. And all the patients immediately say, sure, that would be dynamite. That'd be great. And yeah, the data, basically it was stunning. I mean, it was kind of beyond belief that uh, the hospitalization rate uh, fell to be one half the hospitalization rate that had been before because patients were involved engaging in their, in their treatment. And then finally, the, uh, the uh, mortality rate dropped uh, one-third. The defining moment in this whole story is, what do the patients think of it? They sit in the lobby outside and talk about it, and they're extremely enthusiastic. Uh, so that uh, enthusiasm spreads to the staff. The staff, again, they have to make a radical change. They're going from being worker bees, where they run around the clinic doing everything, to becoming teachers, coaches, trainers, cheerleaders, and, uh, and it's a profound experience. So uh, it's, it's a spiritual experience because uh, I'm embarrassed by the fact that for so many years we forgot to include the patient. There's a, there's a quote that everybody here knows, and it says, the least utilized resource in medicine is the patient. And so when I'm telling people this story, they'll say, well, did you get a new gadget? No. Did you get a new medication? No. Well, what'd you do? Well, we empowered the patients and got them engaged so that they would be part of the treatment and they would be part of the solution. There are no non-compliant patients. There are no bad patients. There are system failures where we just have the wrong system for the patient. Thanks for watching the IHI YouTube channel. If you liked the video you just watched, make sure to leave us a comment below and let us know what you thought. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel so that you'll know when there are great new IHI videos ready to be watched. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook.